blessing. So, um, Mark, you're with uh, the church, and, yep. and um, I've been listening to you speak uh, during services about this this neighborhood watch group that you were yeah. part of. Could you tell me, how, how did you get started with that, and what was it like? Okay, well, it, it all started off um, uh, on the Saturday afternoon when the uh, when all the police disappeared from the streets of Cairo, which was two weeks ago. Um, and uh, everybody in the street that evening, that, that afternoon, there had been a lot of gunfire in, in, the, in the air, and you could hear it around Mardi. Yeah. And we were told that the army was around the place, but there were no police around. And so everybody in my street came down into the, into the street. Yeah. All of the neighbors, people from the apartment buildings and the houses, and, yeah. and we all uh, stood around in the street trying to work out what we were going to do. And so it was an amazing uh, thing to meet some of my neighbors for the first time. And um, uh, one of my neighbors, who's a, a Frenchman, he's a military um, attache of some kind, he, he said he was meeting people in his building for the first time in 10 years. And he lived there for 10 years and never met some of these people. So we, we, uh, we came down, we, we decided we'd sit outside and, and guard the property. And we discovered, you know, people were finding that it was happening in all of the other streets all around us. And, right. And anyway, over the course of those first three nights, the Saturday, Sunday, and Monday night, yeah. things were pretty hairy in Mardi. There was gunfire yeah. sporadically taking place. Yeah. Um, the army were chasing bad guys, but nobody really knows who the bad guys were. Right. Um, we even had gunfire coming over the roof of our house. You can see the little red tracer bullets in, in the night. Um, and there was a lot of excitement and a lot of tension, but at the same time, there was this amazing uh, spirit of unity and community. Uh, we, we set up a fire in our driveway, and people were sitting around the fire together, Boabs and businessmen and, and Muslims what, and Christians. What's a Boab? A Boab is a, is, a, is a caretaker of, a, of an apartment building. He's and the guy who washes the cars and carries people's bags upstairs and, and yeah. cleans the place. So. Yeah. And, and you mentioned a unity in terms yeah. of like different classes. Can yeah. you talk more about that? Really? Yeah, well, like I said, you've got these, uh, these uh, different people from different walks of life all sitting together. Um, the guy who owns the building and, and the people who work for him and, and the tenants in the building and people who are businessmen and people who are shopkeepers and uh, people who are cleaning the apartments, um, foreigners and Egyptians and Muslims and Christians and men and women all sitting around together talking about uh, about what's going on. Um, but all, all, some of them meeting each other for the first time, but everyone with that same, even though they disagree about politics, they're still together. Um, they're still in unity about, we're doing this together for Egypt and, and wanting to see their country improve and wanting to see the trouble and the violence end. Um, so it, it was an amazing time. I, I remember uh, two, two services two weeks ago yeah. when things were really tense. Yeah. Um, you were you you were making jokes about your yeah. neighborhood group yeah. about keeping count. Could you tell about yeah. that? <laughs> what <were> you? <laughs> yeah, well, we were we were doing all kinds of things. I mean, I sat out till three or four a.m. just about every night for a week, and and we did shifts. You know, my neighbor and I we'd swap over. Yeah. Um, we uh, we were taking a, an informal register of the types of weapons that we saw uh, people in the street having. Now, just about everyone had a, a big stout staff of some kind. <laughs> But we saw whips and axes and um, a samurai sword and uh, uh, someone had a garden rake, which I didn't think was very effective, but there we are. I had a hammer and um, some of my neighbors had guns. My next door neighbor had an AK-47. There was a guy down the street with a shotgun. Someone else walked past with a hunting rifle with a telescopic sight and lots of pistols. And uh, Some of them were fakes, but some of them were real. And it, was, it was amazing too. Amazing to be a part of that. And talk about, um, you mentioned uh, during one of your your um, storytelling about um, the religious unity between yeah. religious groups. Could you, and, and, and the song that you Yeah, well, well that, this religious uh, unity was, was really interesting. On one particular night, I'd been down the road to watch the satellite TV news at a friend's house, and we, as we came back, Toby, my neighbor, and uh, another guy, Daniel, got their guitars out. And so they were sitting around the fire on our driveway playing songs with a whole bunch of uh, kids and, and yeah. different people sitting around. So I went inside and got my guitar as well and we came out and sat down and um, 
um, Toby and I played a couple of songs that we knew that we'd been rehearsing for a, a coffee shop uh -huh. concert we were going to do. Uh -huh. um, and then Kareem, our neighbour, who's uh, a Muslim, he said, hey, do you know that song, um, Oh Happy Day? And I go, yes, I do. It's he a said, you know, the, the one, the one uh, that says, when Jesus washed my sins away. And I said, yeah, you want me to play that? And he said, yeah, yeah, we love that one. You play that one. So we, here we are sitting around the fire, Toby and me and, and uh, Daniel and Freddie, we're Christians, and everybody else is a Muslim, Mahmoud, Muhammad, Ahmed and Kareem, all these other guys, singing our happy day when Jesus washed my sins away. It was really the most special time, and they loved it, and it was a really powerful and moving, um, heartfelt thing of people being united together in this in this difficult season. It was wonderful. And, and how long have you lived here, Mark? I've lived here 10 years. Ten years. Now. Um, yeah. And um, where do you see Egypt going in the future? Uh, what, what are I'm, your hopes? I'm hoping that uh, the hopes and dreams of the majority of the Egyptians come true and, and that this time of transition will lead to um, uh, some kind of free democratic society where people have um, equality, where people have equality of opportunity, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, and freedom of religion. And that's what I'm really hoping for. Uh, that for me, as a follower of Jesus, that people will have the freedom to explore um, looking for Jesus and to, to choose to follow him if they want to. Um, but who knows what's going to happen, really. Uh, we're just praying that, that God will take the country forward and that this spirit of unity and freedom will continue to develop. Thank you. You're welcome.